Hey everybody, uh, long time no see. Uh, it's been about like three months since I've put up a video. It's been about three months since I actually did any hopping. Um, yeah, I think it was like early December and up until just a few nights ago when I actually picked up a brush. It's been that long since I've done anything. Um, yeah, I just got really busy. Um, I kind of lost my painting mojo back then. Um, uh, we got into Lego. The family got into Lego, so that's been keeping us busy. But I've just been, I've been doing so many other things and um, yeah, it's been hard, so, um, but the other night I, I felt that, you know what, I got back into it, and I think I was ready, so I brought up some, uh, some brushes and paints and some models, and I'm going to work back to it slowly and try to match what I was doing last year, and, because last year was pretty good, so hopefully I can, um, I can get back to it, um, already, that now that we've started the year. I missed out on the, uh, starting the February challenge or the New Year's challenge, so, um, hopefully there's a March challenge that I can get into, and if not, um, I'll make my own and, and do it, so I'm glad, uh, glad, glad to be back doing this. So hopefully you'll see plenty of videos for me in the upcoming, um, days, weeks, months, year, etc. Um, this will just be a quick intro one, um, I'll go over the different, um, quote-unquote projects that I'm gonna try to uh, slide back into with, but, um, here's just a sampling of the things that I... I have to paint, um, and I figured, you know what, let's bring these up and try to finish these, uh, these projects, um, and, uh, see what we can do with these things. So, I'll start here. This is, uh, these are Andrew's Lizard Men. Um, <clears throat> Andrew is my, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> my, uh, usual minis, um, opponent and, and board game and card game opponent. Um, and he's had this Lizard Men army for a few years, and they're either, um, gray and just built, or... Um, white primed and and he doesn't have the patience or time really to to paint um, he's not interested in painting but he doesn't mind building so we've done a little bit of an exchange where he's going to build my models because um, I have a ton that needs to be built still um, and I'm gonna paint for him so I don't know how that's gonna work in the end but um, it'd be nice to just face some painted models uh, across the table and generally um, I have like, in the past when we first started gaming years ago um, he had tons of painted stuff, um, and I had nothing painted. Uh, he used to have, like, a fully painted Signar army across from my, like, <laughs> white-primed or gray-primed um, uh, Rulics or uh, Pirates when we were playing War Machine and stuff. So, um, yeah, it totally flipped over the course of a few years, and um, I think I think now um, I'm ready to, uh, to help him paint, like... Uh, get some stuff done. So, you know, I've got some lizard men here. I'll talk about um, color choices and stuff later on, but the other night I uh, brought these guys up and um, put some some various coats on them and um, just trying different um, color variations. And I like the, um, the, the you know, the this is like an arctic blue. Um, I'm using P3 paints and P3 paints, they're called uh, arcane and meridius blue. Um, I like those, those, uh, I don't think Andrew does as much, but if I can do a good enough job, he might, um, he might like the idea, so I'm gonna go with that for these test models, and I'll try some other color schemes, like greens and yellows or something, I don't know, um, whatever, you know, just see online what people do, I don't really like the way this one came out, I think the, the dark is too dark, although I do like his head plate being dark, but anyway, this is all stuff that I can, I can work on. Um, yeah, so that's one project. I'll, I'll have a video up on these guys uh, soon because um, I'm going to work on them first, I think, just to, so I can work that out with it, um, Andrew. Um, this is the Fire Mage that I started um, at the end of last year, and she's almost done. She's like just got like touch-ups and oh, geez, sorry, uh, her eyes need to be done, and then the little ball thing, um, and then I, the base I'm going to wait to figure out how I'm going to do all the bases. But yeah, she's so close to being done, so I should I should totally just finish her. Maybe I should do her first because it's it's so little to do. So that's that. Um, not having good brushes is is a big problem too. Um, that's always been my problem, and I should really fix that and pick up some new brushes. But um, yeah, that that's something I really should totally do. Uh, this is a hop hoplite from uh, Godslayer, which I started I think it was like in the summer or fall of last year. And I got uh, all the guys built and primed, and this guy started painting, and I got him to a pretty reasonable level. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't. I never really finished him. So 
here's an opportunity to finish him and then that'll help me decide if I can if I should finish the rest of the guys which I probably should and then I'm likely gonna sell the these guys because uh, I couldn't convince anyone else to get into the game um, unless I probably pick up models and paint them um, I love I like these models I really do and I think uh, I don't know about the rules but I, I like the, the different models in the uh, God Slayer range and uh, there's like a quite a few um, really good models across the board but you know what I gotta be a bit more selective these days so um, these might have to go when they're done we'll see what happens and then these guys I uh, somewhat started I definitely I started them these are the Rangers the British Rangers or at least that's what they're gonna they're gonna be um, for muskets and tomahawks and downstairs I still have the red coats which I got to about about halfway done but um, that's when I lost my mojo and I think my problem was I I started doing batch painting and that doesn't work for me so I think I've learned my lesson for sure this time I'm not gonna batch paint um, these guys are gonna be done individually um, now that they all have their um, their common color because I want them all to have a common color which is pretty much a green jacket for all of them I don't think I did anything different um, I'm gonna start like I'll work on one guy maybe this guy because I've already started his, his uh, rifle um, I'm going to uh, work one guy at a time I don't care if I have to reuse colors over and over again um, batch painting just does not work for me I can I, I was able to do like two models at once um, you know later last year but then when I started try doing six at once, it did not work, and I, I just failed horribly. So definitely not going to do that again. Um, so these guys are on the docket, and I want them to be um, done. So I have a few more guys for Muscus Tomox because, um, like I said before, last year, I want to get that game on the table. I want to get it on the table this year if possible. Um, I'm not buying any more models, uh, and that's a promise I've kept to, um, although I've been spending all my money on Lego anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, I'm not buying any more models until I've painted a huge chunk of what I have. Um, even though there's tons of models out there that I would you know, love to have, um, I'm going to paint up everything I have for Muskets to Hummocks before I buy any more. Um, I think I'm going to force myself to paint up everything I have for Dystopian Legions, which was also for Inner Majesty's name, um, to play either one of those games, and before I could buy anything else um, for, say, uh, Ronin, which I have the rule book for, I really want to try it out. I really want the models for, but I I'm not buying any more models. Done, 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 done. Not so. I'm 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 hoping in the next few months I can paint enough to start justifying to myself to buy more models. But you never know. Probably not. But who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, um, I can get some. Uh, good comments and support from YouTube and uh, I can get back into the community that was I was uh, starting to um, to get into a little bit last year but um, yeah things just got crazy so um, now I'm back everybody uh, I hope that's a good thing for many of you I hope you're um, as excited as I am and I hope I can produce some quality stuff that I've been seeing um, for so long on YouTube and um, please come back uh, comment uh, like uh, 